hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you what's the difference between story epic and task here in jira let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time here in jira i need you to click the sign up option and from here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. In Jira, Epic, Stories, and Tasks are fundamental components used to manage projects and streamline workflows. Each serves a distinct purpose in organizing work and ensuring successful project completion. Now, to further enhance productivity and maintain quality standards, teams can leverage recurring checklists and avoid breaking your task into all right so i'm going to create a new project from scratch so you can have a bigger idea of the difference of the tree okay now for example i'm going to be using the uh, software development and we're going to use a scrum board okay because it's a lot easier to work with it i'm going to use uh, this template and select a team manage project for now i'm going to be using this one okay maybe it's going to be uh, open for anyone click that now i'm going to the backlog and i'm going to create an issue okay so you have a better understanding now you see there are like different kind of issues all right there's a bug story and epic you can click on the manage issue types wherein you have the task story and epic right so let's deal with the epic first now epic is an is a large body of work that can be broken down into smaller more manageable pieces now it represents a big feature maybe a project that cannot be completed in a single sprint or iteration okay you can simply click on edit workflow because epics typically span multiple sprints and may contain multiple stories tasks and sometimes e um, even other sub issues okay so as you can see it from here you can choose the workflow from start to finish and once you're done with that all they're gonna do is update workflow now we have a separate video on how to create an epic here in our channel that you might want to check out so please do so but the idea is once you have created an epic here I want you to click on it show epic on panel so you we can see it okay now you can simply create an epic all right so you can define the name of the epic maybe uh now you can use epics to group related work and track progress on the larger projects for example an epic could be something like a work in progress which could include various user stories and tasks related to authentication features all right and from the epic you can create another issue here and of course you can have a different kind of issue and that's going to be a task right I'm going to rename it as deep laughs hold on Now, task basically is a unit of work that needs to be done right here. As you can see, it is often most used to represent technical work that does not directly correspond to a using interface. And from here, you have the option to edit the name and you can add some description. Maybe I'm um, going to be using this. You can customize all of it you can add pictures that you wanted from here i'm gonna do that now tasks are similar to stories but may not deliver using facing value on their own because 
They often involve backend work, configuration, or other activities required to support a feature. All right. And I normally use tasks for work that supports a story or epic, but may not represent a feature by itself. For example, a task under the uh, work in progress, an epic could be something like uh, needs to be checked. All right. And you see, you can see you can have comments here. And of course, you can link this specific issue and add a web link. And we can also have an add a child issue. And that's going to be a subtask. You have an option for the uh, add apps here for a more streamlined automation for your simple task. Okay, so that's that. Now, you can also create an issue again, but this time you can use uh, the story, right? And I'm going to name it as deep laughs uh, story. Press enter. I'm going to exit this one and I'm going to focus on the deep laugh story all right now a user story okay is smaller more detailed piece of work that describes a specific feature or requirement from the end user's perspective and again story and task overlaps because they usually follow the format of a user and you can put in description as well you can add a child issue or subtask here for example, I'm going to add a subtask, okay? Create, and of course, you can choose an existing issue, all right? For example, I'm going to be using this one, and I can check the progress on this sign. You can also view the workflow to change if you wanted to capture individual features or functionality that deliver value to the end, okay? And basically, um, I believe that... Um, stories provide a more detailed um description of feature or functionality but needless to say you have an option to interchange the task from the a story for example in this case you would be able to see that this one is a story type of issue when you click on this small button here you can interchange it to story okay click on save and as you can see the issue type change to story normally in this and you can of course change it to a task all right you see that the uh, color and symbol has changed as well so that's that but the thing is issues does not do that because issues are for bigger items spanning multiple sprints and containing stories and tasks on the other hand stories are more detailed and user focused representing a specific feature or requirement that provides value in this one and of course task are individual work items that needs to be done often technical or administrative to support stories or epics okay and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next video